What do you know about that? We found the loo. <laughs> we always find the loo, baby. What's up guys welcome back to the channel if you're new to the channel i appreciate you being here drop a thumbs up and i uh, hope to earn your subscription i'm in the beautiful mountain town gold mining town of i don't even know where the hell i'm at <laughs> this is saint elmo uh been here before filmed here before and yes you did see the jeep so a quick update on the jeep the jeep is done i actually got it done a lot sooner than i thought um, after I fixed one major component, it stopped throwing codes on everything else. So, with that being said, this is the last adventure for the year. Um, we have snow, and this is about as far up as I want to safely go. And, uh, just show you some of the old town, do a little bit of history, and all that good stuff. And, um, welcome to St. Elmo. What do you know about that? We found the loo. <laughs> we always find the loo, baby. Yee yee. From the 1850s to the 1870s, the Chalk Creek area was home to a few settlers and miners who were drifting around looking for silver and gold. Just after the Civil War ended, Dr. Abner Wright discovered several loads in the Chalk Creek area the largest being the Mary Murphy Mine. A camp had formed at Chalk Creek and became organized as Forestville, Colorado around 1878. In 1880, the town was incorporated as St. Elmo, Colorado. In 1883, the first hotel was built, the commercial hotel was built, and the town began to boom. So this is the the random German Shepherd puppy. This is his first time ever seeing snow. Isn't that right, boy dog? Come on, let's go. At least 50 mines were thriving near St. Elmo in 1883. The official census in 1887 reported 400 males voted. So with families, it grew quickly. The town was at its peak in the 1890s when it included a telegraph office, general store, town hall, five hotels, saloons, dance halls, a newspaper office, and a schoolhouse.
So this is the Evans Firewall in Savard Building, 1881 to and 1900, actually. That's what it looks like, whatever that building was for. St. Elmo Mercantile, 1882. Can't see much. Looks like an old Ben Franklin pot-bellied stove. Super cool. Looks like an old condenser tank, maybe, for air. I'm not sure, but it's possible. This is an old gold mining town, after all. All right, so... This is 10 cup pass. Um, the Jeep is not ready to go up that yet. I do have some suspension work I need to do, but um, that's later. So this is the other part of St. Elmo. Go over here and show you guys this sign. Uh, it's just saying that this town's private property, so. We're just going to document. So this is the Hughes house, 1881-1885. It's got some upgraded siding. Once the mining industry shut down, St. Elmo drastically declined in population. Miners searched elsewhere for gold and silver, and the business district in St. Elmo closed down as well. Few people continued to live in the town. The railroad was abandoned in 1922. Postal service was discontinued in 1952 after the death of St. Elmo's postmaster. If you would like more information, please visit www.stelmoghosttown.com. 1885, the Innis House. All right, guys, I appreciate you coming on this short little ghost town Jeep update tour. I uh, still have a lot to do with the Jeep. This is St. Elmo. This is the Green Street house behind me, 1881 by the way. Um, cool little cabin here, and of course, the loo. <laughs> so anyway, thank you for coming on this quick little trip. Wanted to go to another place, but I'm gonna save that secret for springtime, maybe summertime, because there's a lot of snow up here right now. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for coming, and uh, see you in the shop, see you in the mountains, and uh, love you guys, and uh, yee yee bro tater chip, I mean come on man, come on look at that, look at that, that's just badass right there.
wandering on the beach. The ocean sprays, the birds speak. We look inside and rise in peace, eyes open to realize hope as we walk in beauty wherever the path leads. Creator is guiding me on this journey. That's all I need. YouTubers be like. And of course, this is where you take the Browns to the Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah.